All right, I'm going to show you how to squirrel proof your bird feeders with just a five gallon bucket. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a five gallon bucket like the one I've got here. And you're going to want to cut the lip off of the bucket. So if it was like this, you would want to cut this bucket right here to match what I have. So you're basically cutting off anything the squirrel can grab onto if it jumps up from the ground to grab the bucket because they are really smart. Next thing you want to do is mount your bucket about four and a half feet from the ground, the top of the bucket. The squirrels can't jump straight up and grab four and a half feet. I haven't had a squirrel in my bird feeders for three years, so that's a good distance. Another thing you want to want to do is get your bird feeders away from anything a squirrel can jump from and get onto. So my fence over here is about eight feet from my, my feeders and the bucket. So the squirrels can't jump that far and grab hold. So basically you want to be sure there's no limbs coming over top that they could come and, and jump onto the feeders from. You want your bucket four and a half feet from the ground and at least eight feet from anything they could jump sideways and uh, try and grab on from. Be sure you like and subscribe to the video if this is helpful. And let me know in the comments what works for you as far as keeping squirrels out of your bird feeder. All right. Then you're going to measure your pole, the circumference of your pole. And you're going to cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket. Or in this case, now it's the top of the bucket. And you're going to slide the bucket down the pole before you put your bird feeder on it. Or you can slide it up the pole before you bury it, whatever is easier for you. And then you will put some screws into the pole to hold the bucket up. You let the bucket down, it'll hold it just like that. And the squirrels will try to jump up. They will crawl up the pole, go into the bucket, and they can't get around or out or above it. And that'll keep them off your bird food. So now Violet and I are going to fill up our feeders. And I always like to throw out a cup or two for the squirrels, just so they have a little bit. Uh, but other than that, that will really cut down on our bird food consumption. 